everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna Patterson and today I'm coming at you with a puppy video. <laughs> this is Milo and he is five and a half months old right now. He is a Shiba Inu, the black and tan colorway. The last video I did was his first week at home so I thought I'd bring a little bit of an update to the channel. It's like girl, so fast. So today I'm going to be doing a puppy haul and show you guys some of the things that I picked up for Milo when he was just a baby, as well as some of the things I've gradually picked up and after learning and going through the teething phase and all that good stuff. So let's get started. So this is Milo. He is a sweetheart. He is very quiet, but he's vocal when he wants to be and he's very, very smart. She does have a personality, sort of like a cat, a lot of people compare it to, but he's been a great dog so far. <laughs> but puppies are very energetic, so he's gonna go play. So we picked up this basket from PetSmart to keep all his goodies in. We initially had the thought that maybe we'd keep it on the floor and then he could pull out his toys as he wants to play with them. He was going through the teething phase, so he was picking at the basket. We just have it up right now, but it helps keep everything together, so I definitely recommend this because puppy toys and things like that can get out of control really quickly. I bought him this little watermelon. When he he was just a little puppy. It's been a really great toy. Not recommended for really tough chewers. He's still just a puppy so he doesn't have that strong of a bite. You always just supervise your dog when he's chewing on anything just to make sure that nothing is hazardous for them and they don't choke on anything. This was actually his very first toy. It was his bumblebee. <laughs> I just squeaked it and he was like yeah. And he adores this thing. I've had to do some sewing surgery on this guy to keep all the stuff hanging. Have this little rope toy right here. This is good for teething. He likes the little flossy bits here. He has this similar rope toy as well. I actually picked this up from HomeSense. They have a lot of good puppy toys there. And then of course he has his little balls and tennis balls. Tennis balls we kind of learned to stay away from because he shreds them. So they end up looking like this. Stick to rubber balls and things that they can't chew apart. Another good thing to get puppies for their teeth is calm. So the very first or second day I had Milo, I went out to PetSmart to socialize him, just carried him around and I picked up a Kong because I'd always heard that these are really great toys for teething puppies and just for dogs in general because you can stuff them with little treats. But as you can see, I had no idea what I was doing because this Kong is way, way, way too big for him. So I ended up picking him up a smaller puppy Kong. This one has a softer rubber and it's a lot smaller. I do stuff it with some peanut butter and treats or apple and yogurt. You can also stick it in the freezer. So Milo was going through his teething phase pretty shortly after after we got him at 10 weeks and right up until probably five months he's kind of just growing out of his teething face now he's not chewing on things quite as aggressively as he was before he wasn't a strong chewer but he just chewed on everything we got him this little nyla bone i think it's bacon flavored you can get them in a bunch of different flavors and there's different chewing strength levels another good thing that we got him for chewing and i just discovered this probably a about a month ago. I saw one on the shelf in PetSmart and then I went to Amazon and I picked up a whole bag because they were amazing. Things called Whimsies. These are little sticks and they come in different forms. See, he loves them. Yes, he loves it. It says on the bag that they're not recommended for pups under the age of nine months, but we just gave it to him because he just needed something to chew on and he responded really well to that dental stick. These have been a great solution for us because it keeps them occupied for a solid hour. And as you can see, my dog is chewing my plants in the background. So as for his collars and leashes, we had a couple different ones. So of course I wanted him to get a cute summer collar. So this one I just picked up from Ren's Pets Depot and it just has a bunch of different colorful stripes on it. And it came with a matching leash. And if you guys are looking for replacements for the little poop bags, you can buy a bunch of them off Amazon for really cheap. I think we got them in like a thousand pack. We also have two harnesses for him. This was our first one that we actually got as a hand-me-down from a friend. So this one is just a Kong harness just does up like that and it has a little pad in the front there. It was really cute but it was a little big on Milo so we ended up getting him this little red harness from Marshalls. It was only about nine dollars I believe so really inexpensive. We also use this harness when he is in the car. We have a little car seat strap that clicks right into the seatbelt buckle that you can hook onto the back of their harness and that car seat buckle I got off of eBay for about a dollar or two dollars. Milo also has two little accessories. He has this little bandana that I sewed for him. He had some extra fabric as you can see here and I just made him a little bandana. He also has a little maple leaf jersey. How adorable is this? My boyfriend got this for him. Um, it's so cute. <laughs> and he's going to wear it with the boys when they're watching the hockey game. When we first got him, we got him a little black collar that you'll see in his puppy video if you watched that before. And then we got him this black leash, but the clip on it was really, really big. He's growing into it more now, but he was a little bit too small for it back then. Now he just has this little rope collar here, and it has a leather buckle in the front there. And then we just have his name engraved on a little bone. And this was about $2. I got it off eBay. You can engrave the front 
front and the back. And he has a matching leash. Both the collar and the leash are both from PetSmart. Part of their beaver canoe collection. And this is so cute. It's going to be perfect for fall. I love it. And then for his food dishes, I ended up getting these off Kijiji silver tins. And he's used one. He has one for his food and one for water. But as he grows, we'll get him a bigger bowl. But these are working out great for right now as he's a puppy. And then we just got him a medium-sized crate that is big enough for him to grow into. And it has a little divider panel in it. If you wanted to divide it off just to make it feel a little bit more cozier. Put his little bed in there. We have a blanket and then we just put a Excuse me. We trained him how to use a potty bell. It was this little bell that I got off Amazon. It's for dogs. You can train them to ring it when they want to go outside. <laughs> the cutest thing. But anyways, his crate, we just put a blanket over top and he sleeps in there overnight. He's been crate trained since day one. Creates a little cozy atmosphere for him and it's worked out great. How's it going? Hi. That's a good sit. Let's go. Come on. That's his potty bell, by the way. So this is the puppy food that we feed Milo. He started off on a Royal Cannon food and then we switched him over to Nutro. And we had him on the little small breed size and then we upgraded him to the larger breed size. This is just a chicken and rice formula. And then we bought another bag of food. This is used as like training treats. You can use it when you're in the house or in areas that are not as distracting. And when we're in more distracting areas, we use Benny Bullies. He loves these things and you can break them up into teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces and use those as training treats as well. Having an extra bag of food that's a different flavor than what you typically give him is a good idea for using kibble as training treats. Sit. What are you doing today? Hey Milo? Sit. Good boy. He's a great dog and he's so adorable and we love him so much but he's already been to puppy school and he knows a bunch of different tricks and he knows a bunch of different commands and he's really smart so that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later Bye.